Hi there, Jenny and Ethan. Welcome back to Randy's Robo School. Hi, Randy. We're so happy to be here. Yeah, Randy. We're excited to learn more about AI. What are we learning today? Today, we're going to learn about something really cool called machine learning. Ready to dive in? Ready. Machine learning is a special kind of AI where computers learn from data. It's like teaching a robot to do something by showing it lots of examples. Do you think you could teach a computer to recognize your favorite toy? How do computers learn from data? Great question, Jenny. Imagine you're learning to recognize animals. You look at many pictures of cats and dogs, and you learn to tell them apart. Computers do the same thing, but they need lots and lots of pictures to learn from. So, can we help computers learn? Absolutely, Ethan. Just like your brain learns from every book you read, computers learn from all the data they see. Think of machine learning as a student in school. The more it studies, the better it gets. It learns from data, which is like homework for computers. So, does the computer get better with practice, like we do? Exactly, Ethan. Just like you get better at math or reading with practice, computers improve at their tasks by learning from more data. Imagine practicing your multiplication tables. The more problems you solve, the faster and more accurate you become. Can we see an example? Sure, Jenny. Imagine you're sorting your toys by size and color. The more you practice, the faster you get. Computers do the same with data. There are different types of machine learning. Let's start with supervised learning. It's like having a teacher who gives you the right answers to learn from. How does that work? Imagine you have a bunch of pictures of animals, and each picture is labeled with the correct animal name. The computer uses these labeled pictures to learn how to recognize new pictures of animals. Each new picture helps it get better and more precise at identifying animals correctly. The more examples it sees, the smarter it becomes. Let's look at some more examples of supervised learning in real life. Yes, yes please. please. For supervised learning, think about voice recognition on your smartphone. When you speak into your phone, it understands what you're saying because it has been trained with many voice samples. These samples are recordings of people talking, each labeled with the correct words they are saying. By studying these labeled recordings, the smartphone learns to recognize words and sentences when you speak. This process helps the phone get better at understanding different voices and accents over time. What other examples are there? Another great example is facial recognition technology. The computer learns to recognize faces by being trained with lots of pictures of people's faces, each labeled with the person's name. Like, when our camera knows it's me or my sister? Yes, Ethan. Also, self-driving cars use supervised learning to recognize objects on the road. They are trained with thousands of images of cars, pedestrians, and road signs, all labeled correctly. So, when the car is driving, it can see and understand what's around it, helping it to make safe driving decisions by knowing where the other cars, people, and signs are. That's really cool. Any more examples? Sure. Another example is in medical diagnosis. Computers are trained with labeled images of x-rays to learn how to identify diseases like pneumonia or fractures. Wow, machine learning helps in so many ways. It sure does, Ethan. Remember, supervised learning is like having a teacher who helps computers learn from examples, just like your teacher helps you. I hope by now you have a very good understanding on supervised learning. Yes. yes. Let's move on to the next type of machine learning, called unsupervised learning. In unsupervised learning, the computer tries to find patterns and group in data without any labels or guidance. 
So, the computer figures things out by itself? Exactly. It's like solving a puzzle without knowing the picture on the box. The computer looks for similarities and groups the data based on those. Like, sorting our toy cars by color or size, without anyone telling us how? Yes, Ethan. The computer groups similar things together, just like you would with your toys. Let's explore an example of unsupervised learning. Imagine we have a collection of blocks in various colors and sizes. If we instruct the computer to categorize these blocks without providing any specific guidelines, it will use unsupervised learning to analyze all the blocks and group them based on their similarities. So it finds the patterns all by itself? Exactly, Jenny. That's unsupervised learning. The computer figures out the groups based on what it sees, just like you would sort your toys. That's cool. It's like the computer is playing a sorting game. Yes, Ethan. And this kind of learning helps computers understand data and find patterns, even when we don't tell them what to look for. Let's look at some real-life examples of unsupervised learning. Yes, yes please. please. A good example is organizing photos on your computer or phone. The computer groups similar photos together, like all pictures of sunsets or all pictures of your pet, without telling it to you. Can we have more examples? Sure. For unsupervised learning, another example is market basket analysis used by supermarkets. They find patterns in items frequently bought together to organize their shelves and create combo deals. For example, it might find that customers who buy bread often buy butter too, so the store can place these items close to each other to boost sales. Remember, unsupervised learning is when the computer figures things out on its own, just like you sorting your toys without any help. I hope by now you have a very good understanding on unsupervised learning. Yes. Finally, there's reinforcement learning. In reinforcement learning, the computer learns by doing something and getting rewards or penalties. Like playing a video game and getting points for doing well? Exactly, Jenny. The computer tries different actions and learns which ones give the best results by getting positive or negative feedback. Let's see an example. Imagine a robot trying to find its way through a maze. Each time it makes a correct turn, it gets a point. Each time it hits a wall, it loses a point. Over time, the robot learns the best path through the maze by trying different routes and learning from its mistakes. So, it's like when we get stars for good behavior at school? Yes. The computer learns from the feedback it receives, just like you learn from getting stars or points. That makes sense. Can we see one more example? Sure. Think about training a pet. When the pet does a trick correctly, it gets a treat. If not, it doesn't. Over time, the pet learns to do the trick to get the treat. That's reinforcement learning. Let's look at some real-life examples of reinforcement learning. Yes, yes please. please. A good example is recommendation systems, such as Netflix's movie suggestions. These systems improve their recommendations with increased user feedback, learning from viewing choices and the ratings users provide. That's really cool. It is. And video game AI is another example. Game characters learn to become better opponents by receiving rewards for winning and penalties for losing, making the game more challenging and fun. Wow, machine learning is everywhere. It sure is, Jenny. It makes our lives easier, safer, and more fun. Remember, reinforcement learning is when the computer learns from rewards and penalties just like you learn from getting points in a game or stars at school. I hope you enjoyed learning about machine learning today. Remember, it's all about teaching computers to learn from data and get better over time. Thanks, Randy. This was so interesting. Yeah, 
I can't wait to see more machine learning in action. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Keep being curious and exploring new things every day. See you next time at Randy's Robo School. To learn more about artificial intelligence go to www.aieducationforkids.com. If you would like to read books and do some activity then we have some wonderful collection of books on artificial intelligence like Introduction to AI, Brainy Bots, Fantastic Future, Building AI. These books will help you grow and explore the new world of artificial intelligence. You can find all the links and details in the video description below. If you like this video then please click the like button. To get notifications for more such educational videos on AI, please hit the subscribe button. See you next time.